Welcome to Cyber News, your source for reliable, cutting-edge commentary on the world of cybersecurity. Today we're taking a closer look at the Onion Router, known better by its acronym TOR, the free and open-source software that enables anonymous internet communication. Sure, it may have a reputation within the cybersecurity world as the dark web's browser of choice, but don't discredit this powerful privacy tool just because a few bad apples use it from time to time. Despite its darker uses, Tor offers an unparalleled level of anonymity that can aid anyone in protecting their privacy. At its heart, Tor is intended to protect the personal privacy of its users, as well as their freedom to conduct confidential communication. But who exactly is Tor for, and how does it ensure your online anonymity is protected? Perhaps you're a journalist handling extremely sensitive communication with a private source or an activist who lives in a country where internet usage is heavily monitored, censored, or blocked, or a law enforcement professional who needs to understand and use alternative communication methods for undercover operations, or maybe you're simply a modern internet user conscious of everyday cybersecurity threats on traditional websites and online services. Concerned about growing privacy concerns, you're ready to learn more about regaining your internet anonymity and staying hidden from the prying eyes of network surveillance. The key to learning how Tor can be beneficial to you is understanding exactly how it functions. There are a lot of ways the internet can identify you, but the easiest and most common method is via your IP address, which functions like a virtual name tag that offers information about your name, location, and web browsing activity. By making your IP address untraceable, Tor cloaks this identifying information of your online activity. But how? Well, in any normal online activity, you're creating a direct connection between your computer and the website you're accessing. This digital line of communication is visible to online trackers and left wide open for anyone to see. Tor, on the other hand, passes along your information using layers of encryption, hence the onion reference. Rather than sending you directly to a website, Tor encrypts the application layer of your activity and redirects your traffic through a worldwide network made up of thousands of relays or nodes. As your information passes from node to node, each one decrypts a layer that reveals the next node the data has to pass through, all without divulging the locations of its last relay. Throughout this global ping pong, each node is receiving information about where to next send the encrypted layers all while the original and intermediary node locations remain completely unknown. At the end of its worldwide tour, your traffic will arrive at an exit node, which removes the final layer of encryption and sends the original data to its destination, all without knowing or revealing the original IP address. Because this data was concealed from the outset, this method removes the ability for any network surveillance to identify the source or destination information at any single point within the node relay. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you're a casual web observer accessing regular sites like Google or Facebook, your data is already pretty vulnerable and accessible, so there's probably not a lot that Tor can offer you. But for anyone in sensitive lines of work or heavily monitored places, or for the everyday web browser who's grown increasingly worried about a lack of network anonymity, Tor provides a safe outlet for you to connect unseen. And that's Tor. If you've ever used it, let us know what your experience was like in the comments below. If you haven't, what's holding you back? For more insightful content, make sure to subscribe to CyberNews' channel for regularly updated information about anything and everything cybersecurity.